What is going on guys? It's Apathy, you know me. And today we're going to be talking about the secret setting that all pro players use. Now, this is obviously a setting that they've been using since MW and I'm going to share with you in case you didn't know. Let's get right into it. So before we get into the gameplay and talk more about it, to change the setting, you want to go to settings. Obviously, you want to go to controller. You want to go to controller. You want to go all the way down. And then you see this aim response curve type. You want to set this to dynamic. Yes, as you can see, dynamic. For the definition of dynamic, reverse S curve mapping for fine aim rate control. But let's talk a little bit more about this and why it's so good. So if you didn't know, dynamic, basically the way it works is it starts off fast. And then as you're moving around with it, it slows down and it becomes fast to slow. Why is this so good? Because when you are trying to snap on someone, you're able to move your stick around fast. And then it slows down at the end of the movement. So therefore, you're able to slow down and really hit your shots and, the, and hit your target. So this is one of the best things that has been introduced to Call of Duty. And all the pro players use it because of how effective it is and how precise you can be while being very cracked out and just having your shot on point. Because obviously, at a high level, you know, you got you to gotta hit some crazy shots. You got to snap on people. You got to be ready for anyone and everyone coming out of any direction. So playing on dynamic allows you to accomplish that that very fast pace and then slows down at the end. Standard, if you didn't know, I mean, it basically starts off kind of slow and it goes faster um, as you go. And linear is just kind of one speed at all times. So dynamic just allows you, to, once you get used to it and kind of perfect the dynamic, it allows you to basically play at your full potential and hit some really nasty shots, especially when it comes to snapping on someone like this. So if you didn't know, it was actually introduced in MW. And like I said, in MW, about 97% of pro players use dynamic. In Cold War, about 95% of pro players use dynamic. And this game, I think we're back to like 97. Almost every single pro player is using it. Um, the only reason some people are not maybe on they're on standard, because as an AR player, standard is actually decent. Um, but once you practice a little bit, you know, play free frost, shoot a lot with it you get used to it you're gonna see how dominant this can be all right guys we do got some dome a hard point to continue this uh video and i want to talk about you know you got people like simp abizi arsides scump a lot of these goady amazing players um using dynamic and for a good reason i mean dynamic is incredible uh it allows you to really i think uh get you at your full potential uh, really just make you one of the best players in the game well obviously with some practice with some in-game knowledge this guy's just fun in front of me we love dome baby we oh okay so how can you say no to that you know some of the best players in the world use it uh dynamic um it, like how can you just sit there and be like you know what i'm gonna be different i'm not gonna use it now i do always say like as an ar player i understand like ar players can maybe get away with it if they really don't like it and it is possible for them not to use it like they don't it's not like end of the world i mean it depends if you're an aggressive ar i would say yeah use it if you're like kind of a i don't know like a slow hard premium damn <clears throat> sorry uh if you're a hard slow premium ar then i would recommend to uh, use it not use it but jesus you can see the snap from your boy snapping back and forth just ready for all the gunfights. Come here, Zane or Zan? Zanny. Pop a UAV here. Dome is so chaotic. Snap on that guy. And as you know, it was actually introduced in MW if you didn't know. Because as you know, I just I think I killed myself. I hope not. I'm trying to get some dogs here. Oh my god. So all the pros in MW, that's when uh, Dynamic came out. They're like, you know what? Let's all switch to Dynamic. Um, that thing is incredible. It literally feels like it gives you aim assist. Even though people have said, oh, I've tested before. It doesn't really feel like there's no aim assist help on it. Trust me, man. For somebody who played a shish ton amount of hours on, on MW and for all the pros that agreed, it, you know, maybe statistically or in a way, it maybe it doesn't feel like it gives aim assist. But when you actually put dynamic on and you play with it and compare it to standard, you're like, hold up. This does feel like it gives you aim assist. You know, you're you're actually like intrigued. Like it, it doesn't it's not supposed to give you aim assist technically, 
but it kind of feels like it actually does and it, it it really feels like it does it's not like it kind of it does but the one thing i will say in cold war and even in this game um it feels like i, I don't know i i can't speak much for this game because i kind of played straight on dynamic um like i played standard for one game i'm like nope dynamic but um for cold war oh my god it did feel like dynamic helped and it did what dynamic does best where what i told you guys earlier in the video um for like the snapping capability and all that but i don't know in cold war it wasn't as op as it was in mw and that is a fact but you can see this disc the dynamic basically allows you to reach your full potential uh, allows you to be very cracked as a kid say it huh. And the only way to really get good with dynamic is just play time, man. You guys got a game, you got a game, you got to play. Like, so it's not like, you know, it's kind of like muscle memory. Um, it takes a lot of skill to really get good with, uh, just, you know, be able to spin around and snap on people, right? And dynamic essentially helps you with that. So it's like training wheels. But um, at the end of the day, it, it, if, especially if you've never played on dynamic, it's still going to feel a little weird to you. I think if you struggle a little, a little bit with your aim, it's going to feel a little weird to you. I can't believe I just hit fire that guy. <laughs> um, this map is my favorite map. Uh, probably after I got shotgun 100 times at Das House. If this is one of your favorite maps as well, uh, make sure to drop that like. This is honestly probably my favorite pub map now. Um, I, I was, was enjoying Das House a lot, however you want to say the name. And then I started getting shotgun every life by multiple people and I retired. Got you. Got you. I guess I have dogs or something. Got you. Ah, there's another one there. Aim assist is weird in this game as well. Like, I know some of you guys are probably been feeling the same way. I actually had that with, uh, with a, somebody in my chat. I can't even speak. With someone in my chat, we we're talking about that. How aim assist is just weird in this game. He thinks he's going to kill me, but I have dynamic on. Huh. He thinks he's going to run away, but I have dynamic on. I don't know what's going on. Just, people just blew up. I have two bullets. Reload, reload, reload. The aim assist does feel a little weird in this game sometimes. And oh my god, it's got two blooded. And um, I don't know. I think it's just a game. I think it's just uh the way Vanguard kind of runs. Aim assist uh, can be kind of weak. Some gunfights, it seems like when you jump shot sometimes, you're mid-air aim assist, kind of you lose aim assist. Or not necessarily lose it, you just, it's just weaker. Like the we aim assist just feels weaker. It doesn't feel like it sticks as much as to other people. You have to uh take more effort to keep it on people. But I think Dynamic has helped me a lot with controlling that aspect of this game. Dude, where? Damn, they all left? It's only three of them? There's only three of them? I just hit them with the phase. Just did them dirty. Oh, they're all leaving. I mean, well, good reasoning. This guy's AFK. He said, I've lost it. Got my attack dogs. I want to activate it. I got 70 to my name. They're all leaving the game. Jesus. MP40 slash apathy slash dynamic. <laughs> Making them rage quit. And I something I want to briefly talk about as well. Might as well while we're kind of waiting here fighting one guy. Is that people have also talked about Black Ops target aim assist. Or I think it's target aim assist. So I'll show you guys real quick. So you go to target. You go to gameplay. You go to controller. And you go to gameplay. You go to show more. And then you could use Black Ops instead of default. Which is like Black Ops aim assist. Like Cold War aim assist for example. Um, people are recommending that and I have tried it. Um, it does feel nice, but maybe I just haven't given it enough love because I just like my standard. I think if you're using dynamic, I think dynamic slash standard is good. If you're using standard, uh, you don't want to use dynamic for some reason, then maybe you try standard black ops. Um, but with dynamic, I, standard just feels nicer to me. Black ops feels a little crazy with the dynamic. V2 rocket inbound. Let's go, teammate. v 2 one guy is AFK, but let's go. GG's. That was a good game. So basically, the moral of the story, um, if you want to shoot like a BZ and be cracked like Simp and Scump and RCDs, and you know what? 99% of the pros use dynamic. Use it. If not, you're lost in the sauce. Hope you guys enjoyed today's little video. Make sure to like if you did and you learned something new. Subscribe to the channel for more content, tips, and game plan and all. And leave down in the comments below another video you guys like would like me to do. Okay, apathy, donkathy, out.